This video is part of a series that's intended to help you learn how to use the Answer Ladies machine knitting notebook. It's actually two volumes now. The difference between the two is the gauges that are offered. While using the notebook is the focus, in the process you will see me demonstrate quite a few techniques that can be applied to other patterns that you may already own and enjoy. In this movie, we'll be creating a sleeveless vest or blouse like this one. I'll be knitting with Premier DK Weight Bloom yarn. We'll be knitting a top to fit this half-scale model. The design begins in exactly the same manner as the basic drop-shouldered crew neck t-shirt sort of style that we knitted here. So the same directions are followed all the way up to the underarm. When we moved on to the modified drop shoulder pattern, we bound off a few stitches at the underarm. And we will do that again for the sleeveless top. Doing so creates the squarish armhole that you see in this sample. For the sleeveless top or vest, we need more shaping still. So after having completed the bind off on each side of the work to begin the underarm, for a few more rows, we decrease one stitch on each side, every row in this area. That, plus some sort of edge treatment to stop rolling, makes a nicely fitted armhole that hugs the body, doesn't gape, and has a gentle curve to it. As you join me, I have already cast on, knitted the hem, and that tight rolled hem is covered in another video, and knitted up to the armhole beginning. Now I will bind off a few stitches, the same number on each side of the work. This row, the carriage is on the right, so the stitches bound off will be on the right. Then I'll knit across and bind off the same number on the left. Please excuse my fumble fingers. The camera tripod is massively in my way, but I wanted you to have a good view more than I wanted to be smooth. When the correct number has been bound off, Make sure that the yarn is properly threaded in the carriage. All the needles that just got put out of work because of the bind off are indeed all the way out of work. Knit across and repeat on the other side. Now, knit a row, decrease one on each side, and do that however many times the pattern tells you to do so. Quick reminder, I'm only showing you the work on one side but I'm doing it on both sides and you should be too. And this is what happens if you fail to push your needle all the way back out of work after you have emptied it. So you do better than I did. From this point, we can knit straight up to the shoulder and we don't have to do anything if you're going to add something like worm trim or crocheting as you're edging later. You could just bind off, but I am going to do something to finish the armhole right here and now. I'm going to make a tucked purl column of stitches on stitch number three from the edge, dropping that stitch and laddering it down to the point at which the last underarm decrease was made. Insert the tool in the stitch at the row you lad laddered down to into that live stitch, slide the tool behind the first rung of the ladder, grab the second and pull through, and repeat that all the way up the column of stitches. Behind rung one, grab rung two, pull through. And when you get to the top, hang the final stitch that you've created. It's a purl stitch now. Hang it on the original needle. Find the same row and ladder stitch number five from the edge down and repeat the process. So we will have tucked purl columns on stitch three and five from each edge. This normally is plenty to stop rolling and it does another nice thing. It pulls in the length just a little so that it hugs the body, but it's not restrictive. When making a vest or a shell, you're knitting one front and one back and this is done in four positions, needles three and five on each edge of each piece. In the notebooks, the instructions for making a sleeveless shell or vest begin on page 45. Over the next few pages, there are amended instructions explaining how to 
change the master pattern starting at the underarm as I just showed you, and a chart containing the numbers for the initial bind off and the underarm decreases. Several ways of finishing the armhole are also explained. We just used the tuck rib option. In basic vest and shell patterns, all of the shoulder stitches are bound off at once. That works great for some people and not so well for people who have a significant angle to the line of their shoulder. Those people do better if the shoulders are bound off more gradually, which creates a slant that echoes their own slant. We will cover that subject in another video. See you in the next video.